Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we will learn to vibrate our Android devices. And I will put the link of the source code of this example in the video description. So now, let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. Now in our Android Studio, first I am gonna create two buttons. For that, I am gonna be using linear layout instead of this constant layout here. We are gonna set the orientation to vertical and the gravity to center. And now in here, first I am gonna create a button with an height and width wrap content. I am gonna give this button a text start to start our vibration. We are gonna increase the text size to 16 SP and set text all caps to false. And now we need one more button here. For that, we are gonna simply copy this button and paste it below. And we are gonna change this text to stop. And now we need to give this button an ID. So I am gonna call it button stop. And for our start button here, I am gonna give an ID button start. And we will give margin of 16 dp between our buttons. That's not how a real app looks like, but this is enough for our example. And now we'll go to our end.manifest.xml file in our apps directory. And in here we have to declare a permission. So opening angle bracket uses permission. And the name of the permission would be end.permission.vibrate to vibrate our Android device. And now we'll go to our main activity. And in here, first we have to declare some variables. First we have to declare our two buttons. So private button start comma stop semicolon. And to vibrate our Android device, we are going to use the vibrator class. So private vibrator, this one with Android OS in its name. I am going to call it vibrator. And now in our onCreate method, first we have to assign our buttons to their following IDs. Nice. And now we have to initialize our vibrator class. So vibrator equal to cast it to vibrator get system service and the name of the service would be vibrator service semicolon. And now we'll call set onclick listener to our button. So start dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside the on click method we're gonna write vibrator dot and you can see you have many public methods here and to vibrate our android device we're gonna choose this method vibrate and the number of params this method takes is optional and that i'll be explaining in a minute and the first parameter would be the number of milliseconds you want to vibrate your device for this example i'm gonna pass 1000 that's equal to one second. You can feel free to pass higher and lower value than this. It's up to you. And it's gonna vibrate the device for one second. And now if you want your vibration to occur in a specific pattern, you can also create that. For that, we're gonna create a long array just like a string array. I'm gonna call it pattern equal to and pass a pattern of vibrations here. So now let's understand how this pattern works. And the pattern kind of worked like this. The first element of this array is to delay the vibration. And the second element is for the duration of the vibration. And this pattern repeats for the other elements as well. And in my vibration pattern example, I want my vibration to start without any delay and last for 200 milliseconds. And then I give a short break of 10 milliseconds and then start the vibration again for 500 milliseconds. And now inside our vibrate method, we're gonna pass our pattern that we have just created, comma, and it takes a second parameter. And if you pass zero here, it gonna loops infinitely. And we're gonna pass minus one here because we only want to occur it only once. And this approach only works on the devices which Android version is lower than Android Oreo. And from that, it has been depicted. And now we have to check the Android version. So if built, dot version dot sdk int 
greater than or equal to built dot version codes dot audio. So if the user device is greater than or equal to n dot audio, we have to write extra lines of code for this to work. And if it isn't, our first approach will work. And now in here we'll write vibrator dot vibrate. I'll continue in next line. And in here we'll write vibration effect dot create one shot. And it takes two params. First is the duration of the vibration, comma. And the second would be the amplitude. For that we can pass a constant here, vibration effect dot default amplitude. And now we'll call set on click listener on our stop button. So stop dot set on click listener, new view dot on click listener and in here to stop the vibration we will call vibrator dot cancel now this method will always work because now all the devices is comes with vibration hardware but it would be wise to check if the device has vibration hardware or not for that if vibrator dot has vibrator and if the device doesn't have any vibrator installed we are gonna simply return from this statement and don't execute the further code below. And now that's all we have to do to vibrate our Android device. And now let's test it. The vibration is working though, but I can show it to you in this video. I can assure you that this is working. And now guys that's it for today. If you have any questions or queries related to this topic please ask me in the comment section. And if you are new here please make sure to subscribe our channel. Take care.